What does the future look like for digital art? Joining us now is Noah Davis, Christie's specialist in post-war and contemporary art. Noah, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So, Noah, I think a lot of our audience is very familiar with a piece of art from uh, Andy Warhol called Four Maryland's. That sold for $69 million. I did a little bit of research. It looks like that art continued to appreciate over the years. It sold in 1998 for about $13 million, and it got up to that $69 million. What's the appreciation and the value look like, look like for NFTs? We have no idea. Frankly, we have no idea. Um, there were only four Marylands in that image, and in Beeple's NFT that we sold today, there's 5,000 images. So I don't know if you want to do the math that way, but that's possible. <laughs> um, but truly, we're, we're in an uncharted territory now. We went into this auction with a published estimate unknown which was a winking reference to the estimate on request that Christie's typically reserves for lots with a very high prestige uh, and which are gonna command enormous prices at auction. Um, estimate unknown was a riff on that. Uh, and that played out the entire auction. The, the, we opened the bidding on February 25th. And from then to now, the estimate felt unknown the entire time. Uh, today was amazing. Noah, thanks again for joining us, and congratulations on this auction. I know when you announced this, a lot of people in the art world were skeptical. When I watched the bidding in that last hour, it felt like two billionaires who really wanted this. The increments were in 5 or $10 million. And I wonder, is the world today reading too much into this $69 million price tag? Some are saying this is a validation of the whole asset class and the future of art. If it was really just two people who wanted it, one of them got it and won't be around the next time. Is it a one-off? <laughs> I don't think it's a one-off. And I do think that this is a validation of the collecting category. NFTs uh, clearly are more than just an emerging nascent collecting space. Uh, we opened up our arms for what is basically a mature collecting audience. In the first 10 minutes of bidding on February 25th, we had uh, more than 100 bids placed. We went from $100 to $1 million. Um, we had 20 plus bidders from seven different countries, very intergenerational bidding too, which was interesting. But the most fascinating stat of all is that of those 20 plus initial bidders, only three were known to Christie's. So the mass majority of the bidders, the people who contributed to this fantastic result, and that played out over the course of the auction too, right. um, were brand new to us. And we did everything we could to make this a welcoming space um, for crypto art collectors, uh, especially accepting Ethereum for payment was, a, was an enormous step for us, um, right. but I think a crucial step in, in the right direction too. So uh, this definitely does validate this space. I hope it empowers digital artists to make interesting work. So um, and for, so let me, for everybody to have more confidence in NFTs. I just want a quick question, quick answer. What does the buyer actually get, number mm -hmm. one? And number two, does Beeple get any of this $69 million? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, Beeple is, Beeple is uh, Mike Winkleman is a rich man today. Um, mm -hmm. He's always been rich in spirit. I love him. He's very funny and amazing. And I, I would like to call him my friend. Um, so I'm really proud of him. Um, uh, what the buyer gets is uh, essentially a long string of numbers and letters. It's a it's a code that exists on the Ethereum blockchain. It is a block in the chain that will be dropped into their uh, their Ethereum wallet. Uh, but they also will get a gigantic JPEG, so a massive high resolution JPEG. It's hundreds of megabytes, and uh, they but are it's the blockchain, but it's the blockchain key that is really the thing of value here because that means it was the original digital creation. That's exactly right. Got so it. the image, it's a little, it's a little strange, right? Okay. The image is a metaphor for the artwork, which is the NFT. Which is the under right, right. But it's also a bit of a vice versa situation. Yeah.